Hey guys, Will here with Create Studio, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a review animation inside of Create Studio Pro. All right, so let's go ahead and play this back and see what we're gonna be creating. All right, looking pretty good. So let's go ahead and delete this and let's start from scratch. So the first thing I wanna do is let's create a background. So let's go over here to my media, and I'll go to where I have my images stored, and I will drag in the background image into my canvas. All right, so the first step is to expand out my image to be about 13 seconds or so. And then once I've got that, I'll right click it, hit rename, and we'll call this our background pick. All right, so I've got that renamed. Now with that done, I can then right click this background picture and then group that. All right, so when it's grouped, I need to create a scale animation, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and select my group on the keyboard. I'm gonna tap S and it's gonna create a scale keyframe property for me. Now, before I get into it, I'm gonna go to my easing and on my in and out, I'm gonna choose linear, okay? So now I'm gonna select my first keyframe and I'm gonna make sure it's at 100%, which it is. Now I'm gonna to go to my second keyframe, go to properties and under scale, I'm gonna create it and make it 112%, all right? So now I can drag out my end keyframe all the way to the end of this image here and then put my beginning keyframe right at the beginning there. So now when I press play, it has a nice scale and effect there. And you can see it's just a little bit of motion to create a little bit of life, right? All right, so now from here I can group this and let's go ahead and rename it and let's call it our master background pick. All right, so that one's set, it's good to go. Our next step now is to create um, a overlay, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a shape at the top and then select a rounded rectangle here. And I'm gonna drag this rounded rectangle to the beginning and maximize it so it's the size of my background pick, right? So it's the length, I should say. Now let's go over here to our settings, change the color, and let's make it black. And our opacity, we're gonna make that about 57%. Oops, made it zero, didn't I? It's gonna make it 57%. All right, so let's go ahead and expand it out to the width of our canvas here. And then now let's go ahead and rename this and let's call it our faded overlay. All right, so faded overlay has been renamed. Now let's go ahead and add a little bit of motion animation to it. So select your faded overlay, go to motion. And on the in, we're gonna choose fade and we're gonna select in. All right, so, so far so good. Now on the out, we're gonna go ahead and select the out now and choose fade and then select out. All right, so now we've got a nice little fade in that happens and then a nice fade out at the end there. All right, so we've got that in there. Now we need to add our text, right? So it says our view at the top here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull my cursor back here. Let's go to our text box and select it so we can add a text box. And then let's go ahead and double click in here and let's just type in there our review all right and then now with that selected I can then come over here to my properties and it's gonna stay Montserrat which is cool and we're gonna leave it uh, bold and then we're gonna change it to the color white here and then we should be pretty good so I'm gonna expand out my text here so it's the length of that and actually you know we're not gonna have it come until maybe right as the fade in of the faded overlay happens all right so I do wanna add one motion animation to it. So I'm gonna add a fade in as well to this guy. So I'll go to motion and we'll go to fade and we'll select in on that guy. Now I'm gonna to go to my advanced settings and we're gonna change it to letter and then random. And we're gonna create, uh, the offset's gonna be 50% and uh, the rest stays the same. All right, so what I can do is if I play this back here, you'll see that it then comes in there nicely. Um, let's go ahead and reposition this now. So we'll have it uh, to where it's sitting about right here. And you can recenter it once you see that center line happen there. And that looks pretty good. All right, so now I'm gonna go to my uh, out here. I'm gonna go to back to my motion. I'm gonna go to out and I'm gonna go to position and we're gonna go position left. And then we're also gonna choose paragraph there, which is good. And then we'll leave everything the same. So now when it then exits, it will then go off screen to the left. So, so far so good. We've got the hour review text in there and now we're ready for our next step, which is to create a panel. All right, so let's go over here and go to our shape and let's create another rounded rectangle. All right, so let's go ahead and resize or uh, change the length of our rounded rectangle to match our scene here. And then I will have it start right as this fade in ends here. 
Um, now I'm going to go ahead and rename this now and let's call it our panel. And let's come and change the color from blue and let's change it to white. All right. Now I am going to adjust it and drag it down just a little bit, but I'll do that manually by making my Y about 49%. All right. So we've got our panel created. Now we just need to add some text. All right. So let's go ahead and go to our text and create a text box. And I'm going to go ahead and copy in some text um, so that we don't have to see me type out a whole bunch of stuff here. So I will copy this text that I've got over on the other screen and I will paste that into this text box here. All right, so now the first thing is, is it's a little large for my panel, right? So let's go ahead and resize it. We're gonna keep it Montserrat and uh, we're gonna go ahead and make it from bold to medium. There we go. All right, and so it's now changed to medium. Now I can go ahead and resize it so I can select my text. I can actually just scale it down this way if I want to. So it fits inside the box that I'm working with, right? Um, we're gonna go ahead and add in a couple of motion animations to our review itself. So we're gonna make sure that we select our motion, go to in, and then we're gonna go position top, right? And then we're gonna make sure that it is a word forward and our offset is gonna be 20%, okay? And then our Y position is actually gonna be 29%, okay? So what happens is when we play it back, we've got a nice little animation that comes in there. So let's go ahead and add another text box. Let's go ahead and drag it up for right now. And we can double click in here and let's go ahead and call it Tom. And then we'll use the and symbol and Sally Harper. Okay. So with this one though, we're going to go ahead and make sure it's selected and we're going to keep it monster app, but we're going to change it back to bold. Okay. And then we can resize this down to about 57% uh, or so. All right. And then you can just adjust this as you need to, as long as it's centered and looks nice. Right. So again, like I said, we're going to adjust the text a little bit as we go so that when we add in our profile bubble, we have enough space at the top there for that uh, pick to fit. All right. So on this one, we're going to resize it out. So let's go ahead and drag it out to the length of our canvas. And then same thing here. Um, let's go ahead and add a motion animation. We'll go to in, right? Let's go to motion in position top. And then on this one, we'll go word forward. And then we'll keep this one at 33% for the offset and then 29% for the Y. Oopsies. 29%. All right. So I do want to adjust the text for the Tom and Sally Harper to play before the actual title text comes up. So as you can see right now, it kind of plays, it comes up after the text does. So I want to move this just to the left a little bit just so it comes in before. There we go, just like that. All right, so now we can add our star effects. So let's go ahead and go to our shapes and let's go ahead and search for a star. And once we got it there, I can then add that in and let's go ahead and drag it to our zero line. Let's expand it out to be about, you know, 13 seconds or so, if almost 14 seconds. I'm gonna right click it, click rename and let's call it star, all right? So once I've got that done, I'm gonna go ahead and change my color. Instead of blue, I'm gonna make it this yellow color and let's go ahead and adjust the scale and let's make it 11% and then we're good to go. I'll zoom in here so you can kind of see this. Um, and I'm going to add a motion animation to this star first, right? So I'm going to go over here to motion. I'm going to go down to saved and then I'm going to select scale and rota. All right. So we've got this star animation going on there, right? Now let's go ahead and duplicate this, right? So I'm going to go ahead and select duplicate. And then I'm going to punch in a little more so you can see, I'm just going to offset that duplicate just a little bit. All right. Now I'm going to go to properties and we're going to make this guy, um, minus 82. Let's see this one's going to be the first one. We're going to change the properties and let's make it, uh, minus 163. All right. And the second one, we're going to adjust our properties and we're going to call this guy minus 82. Okay. So that guy's there. And then now we need to add our third star. So let's duplicate it a third time. Let's offset that just a little bit. And then let's go ahead and go to properties and let's make this X minus one. All right. So there is my minus one. Now let's go and duplicate it for a fourth time, offset it just a little bit. And we're going to go to our properties and we're going to make this one. He is going to be, uh, let's just go 81 on this guy. All right. So now let's duplicate it for our fifth and final time. Offset it one last time. Let's go to properties and we're gonna just gonna make that X just 163, all right? So now we've got all of our stars in there and I can zoom out a little bit now. 
You can see there's five stars. If I play them back, they will all rotate in nice and lovely there. Now what I can do is I can duplicate, not duplicate, sorry, I can make a group out of all of these stars. Okay, so I'll select all the stars I have, right click them, hit group, and then we will rename this and call them our stars. And then that's our star group. So now I can then move this group over and I'll have them come in at a certain time, right? Okay, so my stars group's there. Now what I can do is I can punch back out and now I can drag the whole group and just resize this or re reframe it so that it comes there. I can even make this a little smaller if I want. Maybe I don't want the stars so big, uh, but then I can have them come in to be about right there. All right, so let's go ahead and create our profile bubble. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to my media. I'm gonna go to my folder with my picture in it, drag it onto my canvas. Um, once I've got that there, I'm gonna go ahead and select my shape and then I'm gonna find a circle. So I'm gonna drag my circle into my canvas there. And then once I've got that there, I'm gonna go ahead and realign this so that it all matches up with my entire scene here. So I'll just drag these out both. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select both of them, right click them, and then mask. All right, so now if I wanna readjust this, I can then double click in here and then just resize my circle. And then bam, there is my masked. Um, and we'll just call this, we'll rename it and call it our profile bubble. All right. Perfect. All right. So now I can resize this to fit where I want it to be. So I'll then put it right about here. And then I can then center that up nicely. Looking pretty good. Okay, cool. Now I can then add one more thing to this guy. I can move him over a little bit um, and I'll have him pop in about right here. And we'll go ahead and create a motion animation on this guy. We'll go in, position, top, and then we'll go ahead and adjust it so that um, the Y is 29%. And we're definitely using the fade on that guy. So then that way he comes in and there we go. Perfect. So now that we've got our profile bubble, um, we're good to go there. Now I can go ahead and group this. So I'll group that and we will rename it and we'll just call it our profile uh, master and then that way we know what it is. All right. So once I've got all that in there, I can then group everything inside of this, except everything up to our review, right? So I'll select this guy, all of this stuff right here. Actually, I can just kind of drag a box up like that and then just kind of select everything else I've got, right click, hit group, right? So now this will then be, I'll rename this and this will just be our review. So now I need to add some motion animations to my review group here. So what I need to do is I'm going to go to my motion settings and then under in on position, I'm going to go with top. All right. And on my Y position, I'm going to change this to 110. All right. And on my out, I'm going to go keep it at position and we're going to go with position left. All right. So now we have a nice transition in the beginning and then at the end there. All right, now there's one thing I am gonna do and I'm gonna go back inside my review group and I need to make my panel here. I need to round it out because right now it's square. So I need to adjust it so that it's rounded out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the four corners here and you see that there's a circle and I'm just gonna drag this in just a little bit so that you can see. And actually, if I change the color of this to black just for a second, just so you can see, um, that's I'm rounding out the edges there so it's kind of rounded out there nicely, all right? So then I'll do that. I'm gonna change this back to white real quick just so I can go back and you can see. So now if I go back to the main timeline here, you'll see that I have my rounded uh, panel edge, which is nice, right? All right, so now what I need to do is I need to group everything in my timeline here so everything is in one master track. So let's go ahead and select everything in here. I'm gonna right click, select group. And now I can then rename this guy and I can call him our master review. All right, perfect. So there's one more step I need to do before we complete this animation. And that is on my right side here, I will go into our easy edit properties. And just to show you something real quick, as you can see, if I wanted to adjust this and save this for future scenes, I would have to change the color of the star here like five times, right? Um, but to make it easier, you can go into our easy edit properties and we will link the star to the main star at the top there. So everything will be linked to this master star right here. Everything else will be good to go. So now when I go back, you know, I can replace the image if I need to, fade it overlay, I can change the color or adjust the opacity if, if needed, change the text out on the fly, and then 
for the star color, I can then just change the color once and then it will change it all across the board, right? Same thing with the profile picture. So that is how you can create a really cool uh, review animation inside of Create Studio Pro. Hopefully you've got some really cool quick tips out of here. Can't wait to see what y'all create. I'll catch you on the next tutorial.